Hey guys, um, welcome in, welcome in. This is my introduction video. Um, I think I have a video where I did, I showed how to connect your machine studio to a regular controller keyboard and to your sound card, right? But now, then I had a Yamaha keyboard, but now I've got a complete control keyboard and I got machine studio so I'm just going to show you how I work with it I'm sure a lot of people do it differently but this is the way I work with all right so I'll show you that right now all right so this is my this is my uh, complete control keyboard right and this is my machine and this is my sound focus right it's a little bit dusty but it's okay that's the machine software 2.0 all right so that's my old yamaha that i used to use that i used to work with i was using this basically as a is, this is actually a synthesizer I've had this for a long time i've used this to make a lot of music all my early, early, early productions online, even actual records and Spotify and stuff, I made with this keyboard. All right, but now I had issues some at some point, then I had to go get that, which I'm very, very happy about, okay? So the way I set it up is I wanted to be able to, if I want to make a beat just on the keyboard, that's what I want to do. If I want to, make it beat just on this, that's what then I'm going to make it beat just on this. So I essentially wanted them to do the same thing. You know, it's like a duplicate. So what I have here is a duplicate of what I have here. All right. Some people may have it in a different way. Some may have it, this as just a controller, but I have it it's a duplicate and also a controller. So this keyboard, this uh, keyboard can also control any other sounds in here, even on my Cubase. So if I open up Cubase and select the VST, this will play that VST, which is cool. So it's almost like I'm getting the best of both worlds. You know what I mean? And I wanted to, if I want to sit down and just beat on this without even looking at this and just use the controls on this, because this is like its own, you know, beat making machine then I can do that. But if I want to just focus on this, I can do that. So it's, it's very, very simple. It's a USB. USB comes out. Don't, don't worry about this. You know, this doesn't, this does nothing. I just have, I have it in there. It goes nowhere. The USB simply plugs in to my computer, right? And that's it. And Sound card is good, focus ride is good. Then when I come to the software, when you come to the software, what you do is see on here, see the keyboard? Make sure that's highlighted, all right? Or you can come over here, select the menu, controller, machine studio is a controller, then complete control S49, MK2. Make sure they're both checked, all right? And of course, when you first buy this, you're gonna, of course, install the drivers, all right? Um, I've done that in the past, so when you first buy it from the website, from the, from the native instrument sites, you're gonna have to run through the drivers. Make sure your drivers go on the computer first. The keyboard should be turned off. Install the drivers. Then restart your computer. Then once your computer comes up, plug in, connect, connect the USB to the computer, and then open up the software. All right. And that should that should connect. So I'm gonna and also you have the complete control software in here. You know, I could either use this as a standalone or use my machine as a standalone and 
have this as a plugin and also i can use compute control as a vsc see how it's loading some instrument because i haven't opened this in a long time it's scanning scanning for my new expansions so i can use this as a standalone all of you know if your compute control is huge he has his own suite of expansion packs just like machine um so it's almost like everything is duplicate so native instruments from what i found out either way you can be a machine user you could be a compute control user it doesn't matter as long as you you know what you're doing and you're satisfied you're using what you got to make you know do what you need to do all right and also i can use the software in cubase as a vst so when i open up my cubase I have a, let me see if I can open up Cubase here. I have Cubase 10, by the way. So you say Cubase 10 elements is what I have. You know, it's very simple. When I open up Cubase, I can have, I'm just gonna go to this. I can have complete control as a VST and then play for me, you know. Add, you know, gonna add track, add uh, instruments, Complete control, see that? And I also have all other instruments as well. So that's pretty much it. So it's a USB connection. Install the driver, make your connection to your computer, and then open up the software and do your thing. All right, that's what I do. Works for me. I love it. It's a duplicate. You know, I'm getting best of both worlds on this. So if your video helps you, share this video. And I hope everybody um, have a wonderful day, all right? Uh, this is Boom J. This is my channel. Share the video if this helps. Uh, peace.